Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, thank you so much for your love and support as always. Welcome to those of you guys that are new. This is the daily telepathy for those of you guys that identify with Twin Flame Connection. Okay, so as general, that means uh, it's not going to resonate every time. So keep that in mind. I do offer personal readings. So if you want to book one of those with me, or if you're interested in any of uh, the, the decks here that I'm using here today and the items you see, my official accounts are listed below the video description where it says more. You may have to click it twice. You'll see my Instagram, like all my social media accounts and my sites and uh, Etsy shop. And also the other decks that I'm using here today will be uh, listed below as well, okay? So if you happen to hear me say he or she when I talk about the masculine or the feminine, I'm just talking about energies. Energies can be flipped, so it could be male or female. Take it how it resonates or apply, okay? If it resonates, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't. So there will be an extended. The link to the extended will be below uh, where you can get like just a single time or if you want to... Um, join my uh, Patreon. That information will be listed below as well, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So, with the first part of this. Oh, also remember to hit the like button and the notification bell to get my latest video so you know when I uh, put them out and when I go live, because I do lives, okay? This is the Angel Wisdom Tarot. So, this is the current situation between the uh, masculine and the feminine. So, we have strength. Personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness. Compassion that brings about forgiveness. Realizing that you're stronger than you knew. Okay, so a lot of you guys, um, you could be a Leo or the masculine could be a Leo. Uh, but I really feel like this is you, uh, whoever this may resonate with, is you display kindness and compassion towards this masculine, okay, um, regardless of whatever has uh taking place and you realize through that that you're stronger than you thought that you were because you may have gone through a lot of stuff with this person okay and um, someone could be res uh, restrained from the connection or is continuing to but there is unconditional love here uh, with the strength card okay so here it's 11 but in other decks a strength card is uh, number 8 so 8 or 11 could be significant 11 can be significant with this um, twin flame reading alright so this is my more situations oracle so let's see what this is nervous okay so we have a masculine here that's nervous um nervous either about your personal power this also nervous that some of them could actually be about to approach you and maybe uh ask for some type of forgiveness for from you um uh, maybe an apology um because you've shown a lot of strength as well but i do see a level of nervousness that's going on in the current situation and yeah see this person is nervous about building a relationship with you okay wants to build or start a family with you and they're nervous and this could be the reason why they're restraining um from you uh, at the time or this is them about to get that courage to um you know go towards what they're fearing right now but there is an element of nervous on this, okay, about building a relationship with you. So that's the uh, current uh, situation right now. And um, any signs that come out through this reading, uh, like Leo, I will further uh, clarify that and extend it, okay? So let's go ahead and see. Um, <coughs> sorry, <clears throat> I was trying to politely clear my throat, but it didn't. It didn't work, okay? So let's go ahead and see what is influencing, um, what's influencing the present situation. So we have renewal, which is the judgment card, okay? So receiving the past with compassion. Okay, there's something about compassion here, all right? Some forgiveness, some sadness, some sorry. There's a apology that is possibly, uh, maybe this person forgive you, forgave you or you forgave them or the both of you guys, if you both had some type of issue. Uh, but the judgment is reviewing the past, okay? And it also speaks about reconciliation. But it says, reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction, okay? Clarity on your life uh, purpose. In your heart, you know what to do, okay? So that is... Um, did I say influence in the present? I think I did. <laughs> but anyway, that's where I'm going to go with because I, I felt like I said influencing. All right, so we're just going to go with it because I feel like... I, that's what spirit said i don't remember because sometimes when the information comes in my head 
it just goes out it's just a channel and it just comes out oops sorry <laughs> i'm getting all trying to keep my notes over here on the side and stay on time okay it's like you know what to do so that's what's influencing um this the situation current situation all right so we have bragging telling people about you and glowing lights up whenever uh, near you or someone mentions you so whether this is you or the masculine that could be reviewing the past causing judgment i feel like the masculine knows and so does the feminine knows what they need to do to get things to uh going to get them to be in an element of happiness so when i get these cards of the glowing lights up whenever someone near you and and this i feel like some of you guys are going to get attention okay you're going to get attention from people around you um or there is people involved here that's influencing this connection from the past that um, either was bragging about you, telling about you, or vice versa. Maybe you were bragging. Something came out on the phone. Something came out in public is kind of what I'm getting. But um, this is what's influencing um, the present. Okay, so someone knows that they need to either talk to you, communicate to you in some type of way in order to bring about this connection so i do feel like there is some element of like having a conversation and this is why the masculine is feeling nervous okay when it when it comes to this okay so let's go ahead and see what took place in the past all right this took place in the past <clears throat> two of pinnacles this is juggling so working too hard or multiple jobs, the need to bring balance and fun into your life. Juggling multiple priorities, balancing the budget. So in the past, a lot of you guys, or the both of you, there's a masculine here. I'm seeing a lot of eight. So there's a lot of, there may be something significant that's gonna happen around the eight, eight portal. I personally, I'm just gonna tell you, I've never seen the number eight so many times in my life um, especially since I started, you know, recognizing synchronicities, I have been seeing the number eight every day for over a month, anywhere from five to 10 times in one day, like so much that it was also all kind of like triggering me, like in a negative way. I'm like, what, what are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me? But I do feel like there's a lot of major changes that's going to take place in August and uh, specifically around the eight, eight portal or maybe august is something that is important something that's going to happen over the summertime um but there's a lot of eights here maybe this is somebody's birthday um i'm a virgo so maybe you guys um you know are connected to a virgo or you could be a virgo so anyways in the past there was a lot of juggling going on a lot of back and forth here between the two of you guys um but also there could have been some financial problems, okay? Somebody was working too much, had too many jobs, maybe had multiple jobs, and they needed to balance the situation out, and maybe they didn't because they were too focused on, you know, juggling multiple things, multiple priorities with other people, friends, family. I do feel like there was friends here. They were nervous here to build a relationship with you because maybe there was other people here that they were trying to, like, impress. I'm getting that um, also, so let's go ahead and see what this Yeah, see? conspiracy other people plotting to keep you uh apart so i feel like this masculine was juggling trying to be somewhat connected to you but also trying to deal with the other people that was plotting to keep you apart some of them may have had some type of uh, energy or felt like it was a conspiracy maybe even you as well that uh someone was trying to keep you away from keeping things in balance or even specifically towards your um, finances as well and then we have here partial more to the story yeah so i do feel like this person was juggling between giving you more to the story or just keeping things apart like i feel like this person was trying to find like an even balance between the two of you guys but that wasn't happening okay it, it really wasn't happening in, in any way shape or form because i feel like this person wasn't able to satisfy either one or the other and so now they're nervous about, about building um a relationship with you because i feel like some of them did have some karmic uh ties here with the renewal the judgment card so let's go ahead and see um before i get a couple messages this is the um island time wellness love oracle card and um 
let's go ahead and see why was this person nervous or is nervous in the current situation i already feel like but i'm just gonna see if it'll tell me more why is this person nervous okay they're nervous because you guys are mirroring okay another confirmation for me for the twin flame with all this eight energy they're nervous about um they could be also nervous about looking into this mirror okay because it says relationships reflect our wounds uh introspection self-image like they're afraid to just take a look at themselves here in this whole situation but you guys could also be mirroring each other you may be nervous that this person is holding back from you to build this relationship and they may be feeling you're doing the same thing especially if they're thinking about approaching you okay so some of them that held back from you are nervous that you're not going to want to build this relationship because they held back from you in the past okay so there is some type of review here going on uh about this connection in the past but there is some type of forgiveness i feel like i feel like you guys did have some type of level of compassion and forgiveness toward each, towards each other but there still was something off here because somebody was juggling and they had other people that was trying to keep you guys apart from connecting talking on the phone giving you more to the story which means giving you more you know whatever you were missing maybe you know uh love uh communication whatever it is but this is why this person was uh, uh nervous or is nervous okay all right so this is my cupid's desires love messages if you're new over here this does have some sexual references so if this is offensive to you this would be a good time to click off all right Crave. I know this is different because I don't crave anyone like I do for you. Cake. Bringing you what you want to satisfy your appetite. Clarity. It has always been you. I knew it when I first saw you. Okay. This person is craving to bring you more to the story. To bring you what you want. To satisfy your appetite because that's what you're wanting. You're wanting more to the story. This person also could have been someone that um, liked to eat cake a lot. Um, specifically or a, a certain dessert. And maybe they brought it. Maybe it was your favorite. And they used to bring it to you a lot. And maybe now they're getting the clarity that they're going to have to bring whatever this is. And they could be thinking about, because we got Crave and Cake. They could be thinking about bringing you something really, really sweet here. Okay, because they're craving you is, is what I'm getting. Okay, so they do have some clarity. And so in the extended, I will further clarify these messages as well. So um, if you want to join me in Extended, please see below for the links. And also hit the like button if this resonated for you. If you did already, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Hit the notification bell um, as well to get my latest videos and when I go live. So thank you guys so much uh, for joining me here again. So I'll be in touch soon. So you guys have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is, where we are. Till next time, next video. Peace, love, and light.